I'm Susan Dreschel. And I'm Rich Dreschel. My name is Ann Gazelle. Mary Helen Lamb. I began teaching in 1986 with the Cobb County School District. At that time, I taught business education for the first two years, and then I did an add-on degree at Kennesaw State and began teaching fifth grade. I began teaching in, on February 14th, 1976, and that was in Barra County, and I started with a split of a third grade. I started a little later. I started in 1995 at Cherokee High School teaching business education. And I started in 1975, 1976, and I taught business education, and I was at Calhoun High School in Calhoun, Georgia. I retired in 2010, and at that time I was teaching at R.M. Moore. Still in the Cherokee County School District, and I retired from the Technology Department, and that was in 2017. In 2012, I retired from Cherokee High School after 30 long years. <laughs> <laughs> he loved it. <laughs> I retired in 2018 from the Cherokee County School District. I was principal at Indian Knoll Elementary School. I didn't. I was, the, I was the girl who was not going to major in education, who majored in business because I did not want to be a teacher because my mother was a teacher and all of her friends were teachers and I was not going to do that. And I changed my mind much later before we had children, went back and got a master's degree um, and the rest I guess speaks for itself. <laughs> I too didn't start off to be a teacher. Uh, my undergraduate degree was in business management and um, I taught for four years and then I helped run a carpet mill in Dalton, Georgia for three years and that's when I got serious and came back and did my graduate school work and committed to teaching. And that's how we ended up in Canton. I actually had no plans of being an educator. I come from a long line of educators my mother was a teacher, my uncle was a superintendent of schools and a principal. My dad was a teacher when he uh, was laid off from Lockheed um, back in the 50s and 60s. In 1984, my husband and I decided to take a trip to Hawaii. On the flight back, the flight was so bad that they had the stewardesses buckle up. I began praying and asking God if he would just put me back on the earth, I would go back to school and finish my education degree. And that was at the beginning of March of that year. And by the end of March, I was sitting in a classroom at Kennesaw State University. And I graduated in 1986 with my business ed degree. My mom was a teacher and I played school forever. And I guess that was just part of it. When I was in, at Cherokee High School, I was in Future Teachers of America and Mimi Jo Butler was my counselor and she encouraged me to continue on with this and helped me do joint enrollment at Reinhardt and I was able to be the first joint enrollment student to graduate from Reinhardt and become uh, get my degree in, in one year instead of two years. I remember my first year of teaching just like it was yesterday. At the beginning, I would write down everything I planned to say to my students. Of course, that eventually changed as I gained confidence in my ability in the classroom. I will say that I was not cut out to teach middle school, and so the second year of my career, I was transferred to high school, where I also taught business ed. Eventually, I was transferred or added, did my add-on degree and began teaching fifth grade, which was the love of my life. I loved teaching upper elementary. I had wonderful mentors all of my years of teaching, which is how I survived those first few years. That is so very easy. When I, was, when I first started teaching, the state issued you a register. 
And that's what you kept up with the attendance. There was nobody else to keep the attendance but the teacher. And nobody told me exactly how to do that. So I looked in the front of the book and they had the students listed alphabetically. And so I fixed my register with all my students alphabetically. And when I turned it in after 30 days, I got called on the carpet because I had not put the boys in the first section and the girls in the second section. And you were only issued one register per year. So the state had to issue me a second register. So I guess my name was quite known for that. <laughs> that I didn't have to float. <laughs> so many teachers at Cherokee High floated and someone gave up his classroom and floated and I had my own classroom while he was floating all day. It was a big change because I had been home for 11 years. So it was not only my first year teaching, it was my first year back at work after being at home for a long time. So it was a, it was a big year for me. Let's see, I, uh, well, I one time on floating, I one time taught six different classes in six different rooms at, at the high school during the day. So I had no repeat lesson plans. So I didn't have to remember what I'd said in an earlier class. I don't remember much. That was 1975, 1976, and it was a long time ago. But I remember my boss at an assembly and it had got chatty in the assembly and there were a thousand people in there and he stands up and snaps his fingers twice and you could hear a pin drop in the whole auditorium and I'm like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my favorite memory would be when I came back to Cherokee County from Bear County. My mom had been diagnosed with cancer and she was teaching at R.M. Moore. And at that time, I got a job to teach with her at R.M. Moore. She was teaching, uh, we were teaching sixth, seventh, and eighth grades, and she taught English and I taught math. So it was really a joy for me to get to work with her. Oh gosh, I have so many favorite memories. Um, I think my students being successful, whether it was passing the Microsoft Office test or being chosen for the homecoming court, whatever, you know, whatever their goals were, getting into their first choice for college, getting the job they wanted, um, those were the memories that were really special. Okay, I think my favorite memory has to be just all the relationships I had through the years and uh, uh, from the janitors to the teachers to the administrators to the students. But it's really cool now that uh, that we're away from it when we go to Walmart or we go out to dinner and students come up to you and they're so happy to see you and you can tell that they've been successful. And I think that's a mark of a real good school system when you have a real successful community. And I think we have a real successful community. My favorite memory as an educator was when I was tapped to open India Knoll Elementary School. I had been part of an opening of an elementary school when I was a teacher in Cobb County. I also helped to open Carmel Elementary as an assistant principal. Opening India Knoll was the best experience of my career. I was surrounded with the best educators from anywhere. I recall Dr. Petrozello teasing me and saying how I cherry picked my staff. And I would just laugh and say, well, that's what you paid me to do. I am proud of the community that we built at that school. Our media specialist went on to become Georgia Media Specialist of the Year. One of our PE teachers was recently named as the Element Georgia Elementary Physical Education Teacher of the Year. And one of our fifth grade teachers was not only a Cherokee County Teacher of the Year, but went, but went on to be one of the top 10 finalists in the state of Georgia Teacher of the Year. I am proud to have worked alongside them and the entire faculty and staff at that school. The people, I miss the people, especially in the technology department because it was so varied and I went to a lot of different schools. At one point, I think I had 10 schools in the county. So um, when I retired, there was just that 
and the people. I really miss the people and the students from the earlier years who are all adults now. I miss that. I miss the big paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I, I too, I miss uh, the relationships and uh, all, all the good times we had at Cherokee High School. I miss the kids the most. The relationships you build last a lifetime. I love watching my former students as they go on to become productive citizens and see all of their accomplishments. So many have now graduated even from college and moved into careers, and I'm really proud of all that they're accomplishing. Well, I miss the kids, of course, because they always bring such joy to your life, and, and I always love to see that light bulb come on when they, had, when they got the concept of what was going on in math. And of course, I miss the people that I worked with because I still consider them all family. As soon as I retired, I was hired by Piedmont University to begin teaching graduate and leadership students. I work with teachers that are pursuing their specialist degree and also with teachers and administrators pursuing their leadership endorsements. My second year of retirement, I was asked to serve on the PTA board at Indianola Elementary. These last two years, I have served as president of Dean Rusk Middle School PTSA as that is where my granddaughter is now. I love giving back to our community. I love serving our teachers and staff at Dean Rusk, and I really love seeing kids that I worked with in their elementary years. Well, I'm an active member at Waleska United Methodist Church. We do lots of outreach, and I love to work with the outreach for the kids in our community, uh, especially the school supplies and the Boy Scouts. And I am uh, also the mayor in Waleska. I've been on city council for more than 20 years. And for the past two years, I've been the mayor and I just love giving back to my community where I've lived most of my life. Wow, life. Um, I started out taking some classes at Kennesaw just for fun. Some art classes, some drawing and sketching, calligraphy, loved doing that. Um, lots of volunteering and traveling and um, we have a grandchild due next week, so, you know, life keeps you very busy. Oh, and doctor's appointments. There are, no. <laughs> so we race to see who has the most doctor's appointments. But no, I, I love to, um, to get out and travel some. We've had some good trips into Alaska several times, into Canada, and do the national parks out west. Uh, Yellowstone is, is actually my favorite. And I do a lot of gardening before my back got so bad, I can't do what I used to do, but I like to piddle around in the yard. My advice would be to let the kids know that you care about them and that you want to see them to succeed. Prioritize, keep the main thing the main thing. It's really easy to drown in all the minutia, but just prioritize and look at what's important. You know, family, faith, fellowship and friends, and the rest of it will take care of itself. Have a good lesson plan every day. <laughs> plan more than you think you'll need every day. And that's 90% of the battle right there. But if you get in trouble and you need some help, go ask for help. We have a big school system. We have a lot of help available to you. We know a lot of teachers teach for a few years and leave, and we want to keep the good ones. So. Uh, we have uh, administrators and department heads that are happy to, uh, to sit down with you and help you. And don't wait until you're mad and upset and come to the office crying. You know, just get on it early and, uh, and, and we'll help you and take care of uh, uh, what your problems might be. And I'm going to add to that one of the best pieces of advice I got from him my first year, and that was go in really strong, especially in terms of expectations and discipline. It's easy to relax later. It's impossible to get meaner later because you've lost control. So start out strong. And at any level, always have a box of Kleenex with you. That <laughs> really helps. <laughs> My advice to first year teachers is to realize that not everything is going to be perfect. There will be ups and downs and you're going to make mistakes. 
You need to embrace those mistakes and learn from them. Education is the most important career because we prepare everyone for their future careers. Find a mentor and soak in all of their knowledge and expertise. Look calm on the surface and paddle fast underneath. Pretty soon your 30 years will fly by and you'll be on this side of retirement too.